Ladies and gentlemen, let's get gaming to the com video. The GPU market for PCs is a very much alive and well. Nvidia have posted really strong results for the second quarter of its fiscal 2016 on Thursday and is actually being rather boastful. It's saying that the projected next quarter's numbers will be strong, perhaps even stronger than this quarter. Now, total revenue for three months ending July 26th was a rather tasty, rather delicious 1.15 billion. That actually slapped Wall Street estimates, which is obviously a good thing. If, if you beat estimates uh, when it comes to stock markets, you're doing fairly well. Um, and Zhen Song Huan, who is the Nvidia's CEO, I always change his pronunciation, I always butcher his name. Uh, our strong performance is in a challenging environment reflects NVIDIA's success in creating specialized visual computing platforms targeted at important growth markets. Things are not all rosy in camp NVIDIA, however. Um, the Tegra CPUs for mobile devices were down by almost 8% from the same period. So the revenue is up for that has only been 128 million US dollars. So it's saying that it plans to get out of mobile chip business because quite simply it's lagging behind its competitors. There are so many competitors in mobile and some of them are just so bloody huge, cough, Samsung, cough, that it's, it's just competing against them is just like trying to run uphill while someone's adding weights to your back. It's just really difficult. But... Graphics processing chips, the sales are doing really well. It bought in 959 million US dollars. That's actually up. It's up almost 5% annually. Now, unfortunately, net income was down. Um, it was just 26 million. That's 81% lower than the previous year. So what the hell is going on with that? Well, some of it is down to the fact that it's been modernizing its business. Um, it's writing down its iCRA wireless uh, modern business and on top of that it's also doing a lot of restructuring. It's obviously doing what it would consider to be a lot of R&D, a lot of research and it also paid out almost 25 million US dollars in legal fees because of patent litigation between both Qualcomm and Samsung which is kind of a lot of money when you consider but the CFO, Chief Financial Officer, Colette Kress, which is uh, spelt K-R-E-S-S for those who are wondering, said that to expect strong revenue again next quarter. So investors, which is quite important, investors are not panicking. They're saying, you know what? You actually did pretty damn sweet. You know, that, that's actually pretty awesome. Um, so basically what I'm saying to you is that NVIDIA are doing very strongly here. That's actually kind of cool for the PC market, at least in my opinion. It does show that GPUs are actually selling really well. And Maxwell, despite the fact that I have criticized it, fairly rightly and not a massive performance boost over Kepler, it did fairly well. I would have liked for them to have shrunk down to 20 NM, but I understand why they haven't. You know, the, at that point, the nodes were just basically, you know, going to 20 NM at that point wasn't really feasible. The technology wasn't really there. I guess they could technically do a die shrink now. I would like them to. Like, let's say October ish. That would be pretty nice if they said, hey, you know what? We're going to do like a Maxwell die shrink. And that would be quite nice. Maybe add in a few more shaders, uh, what have you. But obviously, we do know Pascal is coming out. Uh, Pascal is out next year. The only problem NVIDIA have is the fact that AMD do have a bit of exclusivity when it comes to high bandwidth memory too. We've, we've discussed ad nauseum, so I'm not going to go into that again. But obviously, right now, AMD are being fairly competitive with the Fury and Fury X. Unfortunately... Uh, in terms of GPUs right now, I would argue that the 390 is maybe a slightly better buy than the 90, than the GTX 970, slightly, because you've got that extra memory, and you know that could be quite nice, particularly if you decide to do Crossfire. That that's definitely a good option. Unfortunately, I feel that AMD made a bit of a mistake with that. What I would have preferred if I were AMD, I would have what I would have done if I were AMD 
is I would have just aggressively cut the prices of the 290 series even further. I would have just, you know, kind of gone that route and then I would have unleashed the Fury and the Fury Xs, but that's just my personal opinion. I would have maybe done a few other bits and bobs, maybe released like a specific version of something that's kind of in between the uh, 290X and the Fury, maybe that would have been a good option as well. So it would have had maybe slightly more memory, slightly higher clock speeds, that type of thing. That could have been kind of cool, but it is what it is. And NVIDIA right now will have a really good monopoly on the GPU market, which they also, of course, want to start switching to cloud. Now, cloud and server technology is really huge right now. And excuse me, that was my phone because I forgot to turn my phone on silent. No one, no one bloody texts me for like two hours. I completely forget to turn it on bloody silent. And then the one moment, yep, the one moment I'm recording and then someone texts. Bloody typical. Anyway, as I was saying, um, so yeah, cloud market is absolutely huge right now. As everyone knows, um, AMD is starting to enter it. You know, we've heard so many rumors about the Zen, which we discussed yesterday. Even Facebook are approaching AMD, Nvidia obviously have a lot of push towards the cloud i guess i would argue that their quadro level graphics cards don't really uh, necessarily represent really good value for money because let's say you're doing a little bit of rendering on 3ds max or maya or something along those lines to be totally honest a gpu is fine like even adobe premiere or any of adobe's applications you can easily just use OpenCL or something like that um, rather than using Quadro. So I think for most, despite the fact that a lot of creative professionals do say, oh, I need a Quadro, you don't really, you know, you might as well just get like a GTX 970 or something like that. But the servers and video are doing really well um, and it's kind of cool. I still kind of wonder, and this is completely and utterly off topic, I do wonder, however, what would have happened if they had not have purchased 3D effects back in the day. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.